Hi guys, it's Jan from Creating Passion here in Idaho. Um, did a really quick mini for my daughter. I, she had a birthday last week and I haven't seen her yet. I'm going to go over to Boise and see her this week. And um, I did an Alice in Wonderland necklace for her, so I decided to do an Alice in Wonderland mini for her. And this is out of Graphic 45's um, Halloween paper, but this isn't Halloween. I did it all with greens and purples and black and whites and creams. So it really has nothing to do with Halloween. I just used some of the papers. So um, this is what I did. This is a cover. It's got tulle and black um, with it with some purple ribbon. This looks kind of blue on the screen to me, but it really is that purple paper, purple dot paper. Did a little um, cutting out of the paper on this. This is a little queen of hearts. She's yelling at something and pointing. And then these are little half pearls in green. Um, I did a clock face out of the new Graphic 45 circus paper because I like that little polka dot. And so does my daughter. She likes polka dots. So then I just did some other paper in here. I did, this is a um, little flower that's in the Can Company Flora and Fauna that I just got. So I really like the purples with it. Then I just put a little metal part here. And these are some little clock hands. I think Belinda sent those to me from Oregon. Hi, Belinda. And so I put those on there and didn't label it or anything. Didn't want to. So this is the first page. Whoops. There we go. Let me get in frame here. It says, you're late. I did this with stamping. Did some little squiggly lines around it. This is just a little cutout. Um, and then I just did some little tags in here. This little tag has a couple of little um, teapots on it. And then just some little stamping on the bottom. Everything's distressed. And everything's kept to the same color code. And this is just another little tag. She can put pictures or little tags in here. It just says journal across it. Um, oh, and these are green. I did green in this, too. Sorry. And then this is old graphic 45. I love that paper, so I wanted to use it for her. Then she can do the same thing with this. Put a picture here and put some little tags or journaling in it. This is one of the little cutouts from the Halloween paper. It's the little frog I took and did the other little cutout on the top for a tab. And then it's red on the back, and I just put some little lines on it so she could journal. And then this is just a photo. It's a 4x4 four four photo mat. Um, it's layered oops, It's layered with a couple of things. And then um, it's just stamped. It's got just a stamp on it with some other little paper. And then on the back of it, let me ooh, turn this around, it's got this little border on it that she can slip behind um, this little journaling tab with some little stamps and little lines. Did the same thing on the back and the front, and she can put a picture on there as well. So that, you know, that turned out pretty good. I like it. Then this little part on the bottom that you see right here is just um, a piece of paper. I don't know where that came from. I had it for a long time. I've had a little tiny strip of it, and I liked it because it had purple flowers on it. So I just decided to put that on there. And then this is just lined um, on the back of it, and it's an old paper, and I'm sorry, guys, I have no idea who that's from. The book is made out of um, cardboard um, oh, cardboard CD covers, sorry, that I bought um, online somewhere, and they work out really good. You don't have to do anything from them, and they're super, super sturdy. Put my little two ringers in it, that's it. And my little papers, I line most of those with little outlines of the other paper and then just punch tools in them. The inside of these are very, very simple. They hold good fo good size photos. And I just stamped them, put a tab on them, did the same on the back of this, just triple layered it. And everything's just dressed and doubled. It's just really, really simple and very easy. This is the next page. Did the little cuts down the side of the paper, polka dot paper, with my edge punches. And this is the same thing, guys, just little tags, very, very simple, has a little brad in the middle of it. She can journal on the back of these, and then I just did a little cut around here with that little caterpillar and a pumpkin. So that's, that's I think that's about the only thing that I didn't cut out. This is the same thing, just cut this out, uh, put a tab across here with some Mad Hatter paper that's purple. Did him, and then cut a flower out, stamped and cut a flower out of that. Uh, did a real simple little pocket on this in black, lined it with the teapot, and then just did, this was a border that was on that one paper with all the big euphema on it, or euphemera. And just cut that out and used it as a little border. Same thing here. Another flower, real simple green. All the greens pretty well match in here. There's a few different shades of them, but not very many. Did a little tab cut up here for it. Um, then did the same thing. This is Adventure on the back of it. And then just put some little cloth hands on it when I stamped it. Just make it different. So that's that page. Very, very easy. Very, very simple to do. Um, you know, there's really not much to this album. I almost didn't want to make a video of it because it was real simple. I usually don't make animated videos, or <laughs> animated videos, good grief, animated uh, books, but I really like this one, so I thought it was fun. This is the other page that goes in that pocket. Um, it just has a band here. She can put a lot of tags or something on it. Still got the little tibber on the top. And then this is the same thing. Just did some stamping here, some little squiggly lines. Um, did another little piece of paper here and a little 
uh, circle here that's all distress that she can journal on. This paper was almost all found in just my scrap bin. I've had a lot of this paper for a long time, except for the Alice in Wonderland paper. This page, same thing, just use that teacup paper here, a um, couple of little flowers out of Can Company's Flora. There's a little glare on that one. And uh, they just match the paper, so I put them in there. This is an old paper. Um, did some little banner flags on here just to give it a little bit of oomph. This is a little tag that has a little band on it. Um, comes off, did some little pearls on that. And then this has a Chester Cat cut out on it. And inside of this is just real simple journaling tag. And then the polka dot, and then this is that little saying that's on that one piece of the ephemera that comes with the paper. And this is just really, really, really simple. And this needs a little ribbon on it, which I haven't got on yet. I need to pack this all tonight. This is just a little Mad Hatter tag from the cutout, and I just put some little green paper on it with some little lines. This is the bigger tag that goes in that pocket, and it's got a, this is a, I think this is from Flora and Fauna. It's one of those rub-ons. Then just did some teacup paper up here, did a little tab, put a little circle in that of the black and cream. Then this one I kind of liked, put a little circle up here of Alice, and this is the queen, and I've had this stamp for a long time, and I've actually never used it. I've probably had this stamp for two or three years, and I just put some journaling lines across here, and then I put her under glass of the cake plate. So I thought that was kind of fun. Then this comes out. This looks blue online. I hope it's not because this is real purple. And did the same thing. Did some really simple, simple um, border here. Did some journaling here. And did the, the little queen here and her little cutout with some distressing. And then on the back, I just did a top note that I cut out. And then put some, you know, time flies type stamp on it. And then just did a little journaling spot here for her. This album is really, really, really simple. And this page, let me get in frame, whoop, there you go. Um, this one has a little crown on it. This li all lifts up, and she can put a photo between here and here. And then I just put the little floor and fauna flowers on it. I really liked them. Did this in green. Didn't do anything to the frame. It was the way it was. And this page was kind of cute. I did some tulle down here instead of doing some ribbon uh, in another pocket. All the pockets are from um, coin envelopes that I just lined and cut. And then this is him looking a little aliens in the window. And then did the same thing on the back, just put it and just lined it so it would have some place to journal. This is from the paper. Um, oh, no, this is actually from a uh, ephemera tech that um, uh, Belinda Aker sent me. Sorry, Belinda. And then I just lined it and put the tab on it. It has wonderful on it. She put a little picture there for the back of one of them. This is a stamp that I bought in Boise last time I was there, and it's a um, cling stamp, and I absolutely love it. It's very whimsical. It's very pretty with all the little flourishes around it. I was going to emboss this, and I decided not to. I just left everything flat in this album so it wouldn't look shiny. And then just have a little tab in the same paper up there. Same thing here. This was just one of the little Euphirma pieces out of the paper, an old graphic 45, and then just has a little tab on top. This is another tag that goes inside, super duper simple, um, has a stamp on it that I just got, has some little corner stamping, turn it over, same thing, little four, three by five goes here, she can do another little set of pictures up here if she wants, Brendan's really good about doing a lot of little pictures, so, or she can put another tab over this and do some journaling on it, just depends on what she wants to do. The next one is the same thing. I just twisted the pockets on them, put two little pockets here, did some little flag banners on the side that are double lined. Um, another little uh, flower here off to the out of Can Company. This said, Who Stole the Tarts? And those little tiny letters that you can get. This is kind of fun. It's a little rabbit. He's looking at his clock. So I put little clock hands up here and did three of them. And the same thing on the back. And this just says, Drink Me. It has a little teapot on it from the same collection. Then this little tag, same thing, just some Euphirma cut out of the Mad Hatter. Did some um, corners on this if she wants to lay a picture over it. And this is, I've had this for a long time, have no idea where it's from. It's a little overlay, and I put it so the top of it comes up, and she can either put a picture in there or she can journal and read it through here. So I like that little tag. It turned out kind of cool. Then I just slanted my pockets on this page so just for a little difference. This is a cling stamp that I have that I put down and just did a, a great big border out of so she can put a photo on this. Just did another real small border out of the paper. This guy I fussy cut. And these little guys, I thought these were so fun. These little guys right here are just little pieces, parts of the ephemera. And I just decided to cut them out and back them with little black um, 
circles about the same size they were. There's a little, um, there's a little flamingo, and then there's his feet. There's Alice's hand, the rabbit's head, and then Alice's feet. So I just thought, you know, he was laying on the ground. I thought, well, that was kind of cool. I'll do that. This is one of the other tags. It's just super simple. It's cut with the gate, uh, Martha Stewart's gate uh, punch, corner punch. And then I just stamped on the back of that, and it still has a little tab on it, so she can put a good size picture on it. This is next last page. This was kind of fun. I wanted to use this hand, and I didn't quite know how to use it because it was so Halloweenish. So I did this, just did a um, black and white and two color purple photo mat on this. And then I took this, and it sticks right underneath his hand, and then just did a little tiny journaling spot where she can journal here, and then she can put a little photo here if she wants to. But I thought that was fun. It just kind of stuck underneath his hand. It sticks right there. And then this is the last page. It just still has the little corner cutouts on it that are shifted in different ways. I did a clock here, and my stamp had little dots on it all over, so I thought, well, I'll just punch out some little dark-colored uh, purple dots, and I put those all over where those are. This is another layer on top of it. Same corner punch that I used last time is on this, and then just the little lines, and then the rabbit, and then this is just another little clock. And then this is the last page. Ooh, where are we here? There we go. This is the last page. I need to put a little, I'm going to put a little cord bow here on him. And this is just cut out of the paper. Um, you know, it was, it was a little challenging to use this paper because it has so much Halloween on it. But, you know, it turned out really cute, and I think she'll like it. Just another border punch. These are just my little reams that I did, my little reams that I cut out of different paper and put them on her, and that's it. Extremely simple album. I almost didn't make a video of it because I just thought it's really, really simple. But I haven't done an animated um, mini for a long time, so I thought it'll just be kind of fun to go through it and, and see what comes out of it and see what I can do with it. So that's it, guys. It's super duper simple. Um, it's just fun to use it, and I used up all my scraps. I did a lot of scrapping in this album. Lined all my little um, pockets and everything, and it's it's been really fun to do this in just the four or five colors because it's it's just nothing that I usually do out of purple. I am not a purple person, and I love green. So I thought, well, if I add the green and purple together and do black and white, then it'll probably come out really easy. So anyway, that's it. Very simple. I appreciate you watching my video. Um, stay tuned. I have a metal sculpture. Um, that I'm going to put on pretty quick that's really fun, and it should be fun. It's got some of these papers in it, so you get to see that too. And leave me a comment if you like. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.